Hey guys, Brandon Ragmaw here today, Steering over Jones Technical Institute, and today we will be going over hydraulic cylinders, the components in them, and uh, what to look for kind of when you're checking them over. So pretty much, we've already got this one apart. Um, everything's apart, head off, got a cylinder apart, shaft out. Um, gonna go over some of the parts. We've got the tie rods here. These are the bolts that go from um, the one head to the other, keep everything inside. Uh, we got the head, the clevis, this is what uh, keeps all your pressure in and uh, attaches it to the device that's obviously going on to make it move. Um, got the cylinder here. Gonna wanna check these real good for burrs and everything. Look them over. This one looks pretty good. That right there isn't anything. It's just uh, oil residue from when I pulled out the uh, shaft and the O-ring was hopping on it. So next, we got clevis pin on the uh, actual shaft itself, yet again, where it connects to the um, device that it would be moving. This would be the pivot point. Um, we got another head, or not head, um, cap over here on this end. Now this cap also has a... Uh... It's called a cylinder. All right guys, so we got the wiper here, and this cleans off the shaft. Um, pretty much any debris or anything that would get on it, it cleans it off. Like We'll show you right here. If you see there's a, not a lot of residue on it right now, but I'll wipe it off, see if it, See that little line right there? That would be uh, some of the shit it cleans off of it. We got the uh, the piston here, and then the nut that holds the piston on. This is what would pressurize the system. Ugh. And we got another piston on this cap. So pretty much that's the basics of the uh, hydraulic cylinder. Um, I don't have a dial indicator gauge out here, but uh, this is actually a device used to check the straightness of the shaft. Um, what you would do is you'd place the uh, dial indicator on the shaft on uh, multiple spots and just rotate it like this and just make sure that it's round and square. There's no um, inconsistencies in the shaft because obviously any marks or burrs in the shaft would cause an issue. Um, leaking hydraulic oil, um, wiper not working properly, debris getting inside, anything of that effect. You're also going to want to make sure you check all your O-rings very well. Any cracking or dryness. Um, they should definitely be replaced, um, especially while you got it apart, because those definitely cause issues later. But uh, that's pretty much the basics of a hydraulic cylinder. And uh, if y'all have any questions, leave some comments. Y'all have a great day.